Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, you're looking at the Quant Start uh, tutorial or trading diary to get everything up and running on Awanda with their API uh, for Forex trading. Just so you know, I've been working on the pairs trading for a while. Uh, and at the same time, I've been going through my Instagram stuff, looking at all the missed trading opportunities over the last six months, specifically in the last uh, close to three months after the U.S. election um, on how I'm losing out on a lot of opportunity among other areas as well. So I do want to get, obviously, up to live trading ASAP. So I have been spinning my wheels on this uh, pair strategy uh, for a while. So I think I'm going to dump it. Uh, I still have all the basic elements. When you look at the in industry from institutions, most of them are trading ETFs, indices uh, as well, but they're not doing any trading in the uh, individual or direct stocks as much. There was a chart that went out uh, about a couple of weeks ago in the last week where it showed how highest 10 volume of equity uh, out there. Seven of the 10 were ETF and only three were direct stock. So it is coming down to a point where I think it's pretty damn close that pair trading is going by the way of the dodo because the industry uh, is not no longer trading individual stocks. I'm sure there's still um, opportunity in it uh, from my point of view. I will ha definitely have an interest in uh, indices for in the market, specifically um, diff by sector or by a region. For instance, emerging markets, I don't know, Turkish, I don't know, or European basic resources is, is hot right now. So doesn't mean I want to trade any particular individual stocks in that. Um, I just wouldn't mind trading the an index around that. So I don't want to get into the minutia of trying to, uh, you know, calculate all this crap with these direct stocks anymore. Uh, I want to get into live trading ASAP. Um, I'm purposely uh, just opened up a uh, an Oando account. I am an official customer of theirs, so. I thought, let's just dump this crap that I've been working on and start working on the OANDA API. I have showcased the OANDA uh, app that you can trade, you know, very small amounts of the major six pairs of currencies out there, some major commodities. And I think there's, oh yes, and there is indices as well. So it kind of is useful for my analytics to be able to do all that, which is good. Um, and commodities, because I think for 2017, commodities is going to be the place to be anyways, and obviously FX is a nice place to be as well. So I do just want to focus on Awanda for now, and as I scale up my account, hopefully, um, from whatever I funded at, it's like 20 bucks right now, it's peanuts, uh, but get it up to about 10 k um, through this, and then have actually two accounts, one on LMAX, one on Interactive Brokers. Uh, LMAX, obviously, to expand into Forex, uh, maybe, uh, but more specifically for uh, futures and options, because that's where the real opportunity is. And obviously, you get a better selection of uh, indices and ETFs as well within Interactive Brokers. On top of that, with LMAX, you get a better, wider selection of currencies as well. Um, namely, in the emerging markets, you uh, are stepping away from just the constraint of um, what a Wando or any of the other mentally retarded retail uh, Forex trading brokers are out there. I'm not going to name them, but out of that batch, I think a is probably the cleanest. That's why I went with them. And you don't have to start with anything. But when you go with LMAX, you get Turkish Liras, uh, South African Rand, the Ruble. Um, those are pretty crazy, volatile um, currencies to be in with the wildest trade, uh, wildest potential of return. So that's where I want to be. But at the same time, I still want to, you know, tippy-toe my toes into the uh, trading world uh, in a very minuscule way. So going this approach is probably the easier way to do it without 
losing boatloads of money, which most people do. You know, that 90-90-90 uh, club rule that um, I'm sure you know about 90% lose 90% of their money in nine days. So I don't want to be one of those people. But I think this approach is still um, suitable to test out your trading ideas and automation infrastructure as well to go with one of the uh, smaller brokers like Oanda and just test out your analytics, test out your risk metrics, and as well test out your analysis um, when it comes to live trading. So all the code, all the stuff that I've not, um, uh, I've been working on the last, pretty well, I'll even say a couple of years, nothing really goes to waste. Um, the only thing is, as I said, is the minutia of manning the managing the positions of the pairs themselves. I'm doing away with that um, because it's just really I'm spinning my wheels on it and uh, with the IT feed as well, uh, which I love. Um, they bring some real complicated problems because I'm now off of Windows. They stay want to stay on Windows. They supposedly support Mac. Um, well, uh, I've been on Mac for over a year now and you know I have played with the IT feed on Mac with Java and it works fine but for some reason somewhere along the line with the account got had to get reset and I've not been able to get the um, account working on my Mac with IT feed try to work with a development support team still no go there seems to be some I don't know open-ended issues at their end I'm not willing to wait, so here we are with Awanda, and really the f the thing that pushed me over that edge of decision is really that, is the IQ feed with the lack of real robust support on non-Windows, specifically Mac. So here we are with Ape Awanda. Um, I'm going to try to get this set up. I've got my account ready to go. Um, and then continue along, but more focus on my FX strategy now. Um, I've pretty well got all my analytics done for uh, the the uh, um, indices and ETFs, if I could say. Um, so I can trade off of those because I've got those analytics working and just kind of like helps me as a trading signal to, to see where to go and where to put my money uh, in what sectors and what regions of the world. And I, you know, obviously I'm going to be highly limited on what Oanda offers me. So it's really, I think it's just like Canada, Australia, US, maybe UK, and I, maybe Europe, I think it was Germany. So, you know, I can trade those, but in, in a very severe, limited way because of Oanda. So I'm going to be tr uh, going that with that approach. Um, but the an analytics is pretty well the same. Um, in terms of uh, what's offered, but I'm probably just going to use right now, I guess, exclusively the data that's provided through the OANA API. So I'm going to do that. Um, and right now, I think just just from a minuscule point of view, trade whatever is available in OANA, as I said, but ultimately it's not the right way to go. Uh, you are holding yourself back on your profit potential, trading with these dinky little brokers. But um, they they can do the job to get you set up, set up your envir your automated infra trading infrastructure environment. On top of that, get your trading ideas as well. So I'm going to try to get this started and hopefully wish me luck and uh, we go from there. All right, later.